All right, so now we're going to take a look at the Lorance Active Target. I want to give you a little bit of a heads up and kind of teach you a little bit of what I'm looking at, how it reads. So we're going to start off with showing where the boat is. So for you that don't know, the transducer is here. This is the prior boat on the bow. We have your uh, control motor set up. And let me pause this here so we can look at that as well. So right here is your trolling motor. It shoots straight down. So this is going down. This is through some bait. And then the bottom will be down here. Um, you can see it along that edge. That's the whole bottom. You can adjust that depth depending on how far you're looking. And then with the degree of the transducer, it actually shoots behind your boat a little bit too. So the deeper you are, the farther it'll shoot behind. Um, here it shoots out in front. And this is probably set at 70 or 80 feet at the end of it here. That's typically what I keep my range at. And I would guess I'm at 20 foot here deep. So to start off, we're going to just kind of go along here. I'll show you where my trolling motor's facing and we'll go from there. So as we go, you can see all this bait right in here. These are um, some sort of shad. They're just kind of suspended out over this creek channel. Here we got some little bit bigger fish they're not giant or anything like that there's a little bigger one there um they're feeding on these shad they're below them just kind of staging looking around eating them um they're probably some white bass spotted bass maybe some little largemouth mixed in right here there's a couple bigger fish those could be bass they could be largemouth <laughs> um and you can see as we keep going the bottom keeps changing a little bit and that's just when i turn my trolling motor so as i keep turning it you can see like that beam here um it keeps changing and that's why it looks a little bit different as we keep going along there i'm reeling up quick you can see that bait that came up to my troll motor um, i was reeling in a drop shot real fast so it was pretty neat how you can see it along there as you keep going along you can see these more of this bait that's all suspended out there and probably 15 foot or so we're 20 there then we got some little fish underneath them here's a nice that one's a little bit bigger you can actually see some other guys and then we're starting to go you can see the bank starting to come up so i'm shining up that creek channel now i just turned it and we're looking back kind of straight across the creek channel going more linear with it um here's a couple fish up above the bait um and let's see like so this you can see how this is like a really bright return it's kind of dense looking you can see there's a couple individual fish swimming around in that school that's because they're really tight together as they're more spread out they'll look kind of like more pixely and there's some areas in between this is just a solid school of bait there um, really thick uh, as we keep working along there's a fish that's up above the bait a little bit and then there you can see i turn my troll motor in the black part let me go back here um when it becomes black like that that's because i paused it I turned and the transducer was set to 20 foot, but it's actually only seeing down into um, where the bottom is now, which is below this. So I'd have to adjust it on my screen to go set it to 20, 30, 40 foot, whatever I was needed to be. So here I bring it back into um, focus. You can see there's the bottom. Right here is some, you see their bait or brush pile. We'll see a little bit better when we get closer. Um, there's some and on the bottom there too right here there's that's a fish you can see him swimming it's his tail right there that's his head um, that's a pretty big one there then we got some smaller fish kind of suspended right here it's actually a little brush pile um the troll motor angle is not correct completely but you can see these they're probably a bunch of crappy that are sitting in the bottom of that brush pile and i'm just turning my troll motor a lot here that's why it's not getting a super clear picture um here's some more brush piles coming up you can see they're sitting out. I like to keep them, like, like I said, here's 70. These are probably between 30 and 40. Uh, it's a good pitch with a drop shot. Um, you can really see them then. Um, here's some more of those fish on the bottom. There's the another brush pile. You can see I'm turning the troll motor again a lot. That's why it's adjusting here. Um, it's not really set up on the fish per se. There's a fish that's suspended above one of those brush piles. Here you can see that brush is pretty big. So every as I keep turning, you can see it kind of expands. It covers a decent amount of area. Um, there's a fish right there in that brush. And I'm trolling forward, so that's why this screen keeps changing. There goes my drop shot. Um, I dropped that down in the middle of it. I'll probably see it in a second. I don't know if I'm going to drop it back in here or if I'm going to pitch in front of us. Don't see any brush out in front right this second. But you can see like there's the branches. 
Um, you can see there's a fish on the outside. There's a fish that's actually swimming out to the outside edge of it. Um, there's fish that are hiding in there as well. There goes my drop shot. You see that's the bait. That's my angler tungsten weight. And I dropped it straight into the middle of that sucker. Um, kind of just probing along, trying to see if there's anybody down in there that I could get a hold of. Um, and then I would just kind of work it down in there. You can't see the bait because it's down in the actual brush itself. If I was casting out in this more open water where there's nothing at, you would be able to see it a little bit more. And then you can see there's actually, like, that's like a lay down in the brush pile. So it's like, that's a harder piece that's uh, horizontal. You can see the other part sticks kind of straight up and down. There's a couple um, little bass in front of it. There's a couple, that's a bass right there, swimming around in the top of that brush. You can see his buddy, if he keeps working his way over, he'll come over into the screen as well. Here's a smaller brush pile. We got a fish above it. Um, I'm kind of looking around still. And then, like we talked about originally, that brush pile, I've got, it's actually behind the boat now, behind the transducer. Now I'm looking for my next area that I want to look at, make a couple casts. Here's a couple smaller brush piles that stand straight up and down. You can see as we work our way forward. Um, those are two fish right there. Oh, there goes my drop shot again. Let's see if I drop it again. Um, there's one in the brush. Then the bottom kind of flattens up a little bit. There's not a whole lot around here. You can see I'm turning the trolling motor again, trying to find another area to make my next cast at. Um, something that you could do here tip-wise is you can see the bottom is a lot further now. So I could actually make this a little bit shallower so that it would drop my bottom down and make it more, um, the brush piles would look bigger and everything would look bigger than that you would be seeing. So we keep working along here. We got our, we're working our way shallower again. So I probably came out of that creek channel, then then working my way forward. Um, and there's a suspended fish right here. Actually, that's a brush pile. So you can see that it looks like a fish until you turn your trolling motor and you, then you get the whole brush pile. So they anchored it here. The little branches are going straight up. Um, I don't currently see a fish in that one. I don't think. Um, I don't have the best angle on it right this second. But this was some footage that was shot at Sam Rayburn during uh, my practice for the MLF Pro Circuit. If you want to see any other ones, um, Active Target deals, I have them as well. There's a couple videos. I think I got three of them with this. The one was cool with Toledo Bend. I was catching some. There's a couple fish right there. Um, on a jerkbait. You can see when I'm reeling in the one fish on a jerkbait, he's got like five or six buddies chasing him up. So that's definitely worth taking a look at that one. Um, that's a tall brush pile that comes almost to the surface, you can see. Kind of see the branches, you can see where it's anchored at down at the bottom. With, I'm guessing they use some sort of concrete, I don't know if it's a bucket or how they do that, but... You can see what else we got. There it is again, and that's just as I turn my troll motor like we were talking about. The bottom definitely could be dropped down lower. Um, that would make it shallower so I could get a better picture and read of everything. But um, thank you for taking a look at this video. If you have any other questions, be sure you let me know. And if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to my channel. And I got lots more Lawrence tips and tricks coming. So have a great day. See you.